My name is Jade and her name is Dawn On the 23rd of March 2010 she was born She's got half a heart, yes you heard that right You're looking at Supergirl fighting with all her might So stick around and you will hear The amazing story about my girl right here What being a heart mum means to me It meant waiting 36 hours to meet and hold my own daughter for the first time, finally getting to look into her beautiful dark blue eyes. We spent a whole six months together in hospital, just waiting to see if she'd survive. During this time, she had three open heart surgeries, all lengthy, all scary. But every time she finally found her way back into my arms, And for that, I'm eternally thankful. I watched her grow up in that hospital, have her first smile, make her first noise, find her feet and hands. I watched her struggle to keep her feeds down due to the reflux her heart was giving her. I watched as nurses and doctors swarmed her cot when she crashed. It's taught me to make every single moment the best moment possible, whether this be at a park, a party, or just sitting on the couch in front of the TV. I've learnt to enjoy every single moment. Being a heart mum has meant fearing every single day that my daughter won't wake up. It's meant looking at her smile and wondering if it will be the last I see. Hearing her laugh and wondering if it would be the last time I ever heard it. But it's also made me appreciate just how special my daughter is and how you never know how long you have with people and you need to work your very hardest to make every single second memorable. To take as many photos as you possibly can, because one day, they may be all you have left. My daughter has taught me to let go of the little things that are weighing me down, because there are so many bigger battles ahead of us and behind us. And those little things, they'll be easy to overcome. Just have to stay as positive as we possibly can. Planning for the worst, but hoping for the best. Being a heart mum means celebrating every single birthday that she gets with 80% of pure happiness and 20% wondering, will she see her next one? means watching her run around with friends and swim in pools and dance around halls with a smile on my face but a voice at the back of my head going is she going to be okay is it too much is she going too fast is she going to be okay five minutes from now It means I've held her body in an anaesthetist's office prior to surgery, tickling her to keep her happy and smiling until the minute the injection hits the IV and her body goes floppy and her mind is no longer with us. And then her limp body is taken out of my hands and given to a stranger, a stranger who is about to save her life for the second or third time. It means worrying any time someone near her coughs or sneezes, thinking, are we gonna spend the rest of the week in hospital? Or is she gonna pull through and fight it off? Does she have it in her to fight it off?
It means being lonely. Lonelier than you ever thought possible. Because no one around you, no other mum, sometimes not even your own family, can truly understand what you've been through. So it means reaching out to people all around the world who have been what you've been through, who do understand what you're feeling, but they can never be there for you in person. Neither can you for them. It means waking up and the first thing that you do every morning is check that your daughter is still alive because it is an all too real reality that one day she may not be. And the same happens before you go to bed. You give them one last kiss, tuck them in nice and safe, turn out the light and say I'll see you soon and hoping that it's true. Being a heart mum is the hardest thing I have ever and will ever do. It's a daily struggle and yet somehow I wouldn't change it for the world. I don't know how many years I have left to celebrate with my daughter. I'll always hope there'll be many. But in reality, it could be as little as eight. I am and I always will be a heart mum. My journey will be a struggle, but it is also a privilege. I can't be like every other mum, but that's okay, because I just need to make sure that I am the best mum to Dawn Louise that I can possibly be. Dawn Louise, my warrior, I love you.